Hi, my amazing planner friends. It's Jess from Your Magical Planner, and today I'm going to be planning out the week of December 11th through the 17th in the Hobonichi Cousin. I have, I think, made the decision that I'm going to be using a Hobonichi Cousin in the coming year, and I want to test it out a little bit and make sure that I'm going to be happy with that. So I have leftovers from a kit I used earlier this month from Letters to Apollo called Cozy Winter, and I think it's actually enough for me to decorate in here and be more than happy with what I have. I am going to have to pull in a few things, but not too much. And then I've also picked out some shimmering ink that I think is going to go really well with this called Coco Shimmer from Dimeen. Dimeen? I think that's how you say it. And I have my dip pen here because I don't have it loaded up yet in one of my I only have two pens <laughs> and sometimes I want a different color so I do have that and yeah we're just gonna kind of get into this and see how it goes all right guys it's voiceover Jess so I got really tired while I was recording this so I'm just gonna put this part to some nice Christmas music for you guys and we'll catch up in the daily pages because I checked in every day this week so you can kind of see how that goes
All the peasants up for you Decorate the fireplace for two I keep waiting all night, all night Wish upon a starlight, starlight I sleep under the moon Alright, it's Monday morning So I need to kind of set up stuff I went through yesterday And just kind of briefly put in some stickers For decorating and reminders for the week and I thought maybe it would be fun to kind of go through it together this week. So this morning for my things I need to get done. So this is my important, I figured I'd do my to-do list here. So I need to send an email to the doctor. I am finishing up my blood thinners and I need to, and there's like no refill. And they said six months, which is roughly now, but I want to make sure that I'm good there. So that's what that's about. And then I need to catch up on laundry. Beep. 
because with my friend in town, I just did not get to a lot of things last week, or well, last half of the week, so things were kind of piled up. Um, I need to get the kitchen back in order. I really don't want to, but I should go to the grocery store, so I'm going to put it on here. I don't know if it's going to happen today or not. And maybe I'll do an order. We'll see. Um, I need to start my book for book club because I haven't done that yet. And record videos for the week. and edit slash upload tomorrow's video. I think that's plenty of to do's for today. <laughs> um, down here I just have the three videos I want to put out this week and then I have room to write any notes I have associated with those. And then over here we need to do our meal planning. So I just do meal planning for dinners. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I guess I should have moved that over a little bit. So I just did my weekly planning because I'm a little behind on that. So let's just kind of take a peek at the week so we can make good decisions as far as time goes and what we have. Uh, so that's January. I want January. I should have put my bookmark in. <laughs> I did not. Um, nope, wrong week. Not that week. Not that week. This week. Okay, so here... So today we don't have a lot going on. So I'm thinking we have um, like some Hobonichi, or not Hobonichi. <laughs> um, it's like a Korean grill thing. Oh gosh, why am I not thinking about it? Korean grill. So it's like meat and rice and some veggies. And I have everything for that here. Tomorrow. I should have time. Oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> it's okay. So I should have time to do a pork tenderloin. I think that'll be a good idea. And then Wednesday, we have a lot going on. So... Well, actually, the whole rest of the week, really, we have a lot going on. So I'm going to say, I think we have time for tacos. Let's do tacos on Wednesday. Wednesday. And then Thursday, we'll do like chili, because that's also really easy. Friday... It's dress rehearsal, so I'm going to say leftovers. I'll have to get Megan a meal at the rink. Sunday, I'm going to be, or Saturday, I'm going to be tired. So I'm going to say pot roast. I can just start it in the morning. And then Sunday, how about we do spaghetti? Because that's an easy recovery meal. <laughs> So that's pretty easy. And then I can write my little bit of a grocery list here, maybe for myself. And go to the store. And then down here, I want to put a synopsis kind of the day. I'm a little upset with myself for putting these two close together, but I think it'll be okay. So 
that's everything for today that I'm going to put in here. And then we'll check back in tomorrow. Now for decorating this, I have used completely leftover stickers. So the Mondays were left over from Simply Gilded kits. Um, so were the Important and Meal. I wanted to kind of see how that would work. And I've contemplated redoing my subscription to them, but I'm just not sure. So I kind of did that. I pulled in a couple of um, coordinating kind of full boxes back here just for decoration. The, I don't remember where this important script came from. This came from um, a leftover from a kit. It might've been a Harriet Wright design. Um, and this was from a Happy Planner. This was a leftover, might've been paper trail plans, but I'm not positive or Panda Bird design maybe, but I, it came on a freebie, I think. So just to kind of give you an idea of how I was decorating back here and the florals were left over from a kit as well. And I didn't have like a ton of them, but I think it worked out really well. So anyhow, that's what I have for today and we'll check back in tomorrow. All right, guys, it's Tuesday morning, so you can kind of see what I got done yesterday. I think I got most everything done except for the edit upload video for tomorrow. I actually woke up this morning and did that first thing. So before I did the rest. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. So I did that before I did this, but let's kind of set ourselves up for today. The big things I have going on today, um, Megan obviously has her lesson and stuff for show prep. And then we also have, we, <laughs> I also have a appointment at the gym actually in about an hour. So I'm not going to have a ton of time before I go, but I am still going to put down that I'm so silly. I, sometimes I write down things just so I can mark them off, even if I've already done them. Because it's a nice record for me being like, oh yeah, I did accomplish something today. So I'm going to put edit and upload. Video. And that ended up being, originally it was going to be the ink haul, but it ended up being the Sterling ink because that was quicker for me to edit this morning. So it was just a quick, you know, little switch. Um, I want to do some laundry. I got three loads done yesterday and I need to get probably the equivalent done today. So we have laundry. Um, I did start the the book for book club, but I want to get at least another chapter done. Um, and I'm listening to it. So I'm doing it in the car while I'm running kids. Although some of the content is iffy on what I feel comfortable listening to in front of the kids. Um, cause this month's book is called Commonwealth and yeah, it's, it's got some adult themes. <laughs> So I'll, when I'm running back and forth without them in the car, I tend to listen to it, but not so much when they're in the car. One chapter of uh, book club, I'll just say, um, tidy bedroom. That's always important for me. I haven't done that yet. And start dishwasher. Just kind of get things going for the day. With the family is sick, it's I, I feel like we run in the dishwasher after every single meal. <laughs> Breakfast is sometimes iffy, but I didn't get it started last night before bed because I was just too tired after all of this. And then tonight we have goals on the Moxie Life. So I want to brainstorm some stuff in here for that. And I think 
that feels like a really short list, but I think that's what I'm going to go with for today. I never got a chance to journal about yesterday, so hopefully I'll find some time to just kind of write down what happened yesterday in like a brief sense and put that in here, but it hasn't happened yet. But I think I'm going to leave it at that and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, it is Wednesday. I started to write things that I started to write everything down and then realized there wasn't a card in the camera. So that really wasn't working out for me. <laughs> so anyhow, it's Wednesday. Wednesday is always my busiest day. I got up at 5.15, took Megan to her lesson and group class before school. And then I went to the gym and walked on the treadmill for half an hour, came home and did a couple like maintenance and did a couple of maintenance chores, um, just like load the dishwasher and move laundry along, that kind of thing. And then I sat down to kind of see where we need to be today. So I did not last night, um, and I have added a little bit of journaling here. I did not make it to the Moxie live last night, so I do want to watch that today. Um, so I'm going to add that in a minute. But I have here already um, call-in refills. Call-in refills for my meds. Um, just a monthly task. <laughs> and then I wanted to start your goals. Um, I'm thinking of a couple of different things, but I need to actually write them down and need to watch the Moxie live. I think what I'm discovering is that because they come on so late, it's like eight o'clock and my energy level is just not good at eight that I will get more out of them if I do the replay. Even though I really want to watch them live, it just isn't practical for me. So watch the Moxie live, um, kind of write down some brainstorming. We'll say brainstorming here. I have edited the video I want to put up tomorrow, so I need to upload it. see is there anything else I really need to get done today I think it's going to be a lighter day just because it's broke up and I don't want to give myself too much so maybe I oh and I want to start writing start um, setting up the new planner for next year I think I need to break that up into stages and today I want to work on my 100. I'm my Hobonichi. I have a really fun idea for that and I want to write it down before I share it with you guys. So yeah, I think that should pretty much <laughs> do it. Um, as far as spending goes, I, I did buy some stickers this morning. <laughs> while I was waiting for my daughter, actually, it was, I think, $50, $60 I spent. Ooh. Let's see. Because um, it was like an Etsy thing, and I just, I did like the, you, you do the one checkout for all the shops. So... And I think it was three shops. I'm hoping they'll get here before the new year, but I don't know. It may be after the new year and I may need to back plan a few things. But so we have Lexi, Kylie Designs. And she had some mood tracking stickers she came out with this week that... Ooh, Sorry, I dropped my phone. Um, 
it'll actually fit the, the habit tracker in the back here. And so that's what I ordered them for because I think that's what I'm going to be doing this next year. So and I think I ordered maybe some holiday stickers too. But that total was $24 and 49 cents. They're on sale right now for like $2. I think her normal price is maybe $3 a page or something like that. And I bought a bunch of them hoping it'll be enough for the year. I didn't really count how many stickers were on a sheet, so I'm not sure. So I have that one. And then I ordered some stuff from Daisy Papers. Um, and I spent, how much did I spend here? $26 and 33 cents. These were more um, like functional scripts, like brainstorming and things like that, that I wanted to have for in the back here. Um, and let's see, the third shop that I ordered from, um, I think it's called the Sticker Shop Co. And there I spent $17.21. What did I get? <laughs> now I'm trying to remember what I ordered. <laughs> um, oh, I think it was the Moxie Life stickers for um, like your re weekly review and your focus and that kind of thing. I wanted some of those for the new year especially with some changes that I've made. <laughs> so there is that. As far as family, we have the band concert tonight. And, oh, Emily has decided that she, she's, Gonna take a break from regular therapy. She's in a good spot, so. She has one more week. Any other big updates? Let's see. Megan has a solo tomorrow. in the choir concert. And this is Dan. Um, I don't think we have any other, like Ethan doesn't really have anything big right now. Oh, well, kind of. Okay, he's working on designing a game, which is kind of exciting. It gives him a project while he's waiting. He's He's gone through this stuff for um, getting into electrician school, but it's, it's a process that takes a while. So he's kind of in this hold pattern right now. So that's what he's using his time for, which I think is good. Dan has picked out his classes for next semester. He has finals this week, too. And I don't think I spelled that right <laughs> for college. It's so funny. He says he likes college so much better than high school, even though he's like technically still in high school. <laughs> Um, any other big things? Oh, my new pen shipped. Um, so I'm going to write that down too. New shipped. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> Sometimes my brain, like, yeah. I don't know. But that's what we have for today. So 
gives me kind of a start. I did move my paper clip to here so I can reference it. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, today is Thursday. It has been a little bit rocky today, so I'm actually filming this at about 3.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, so essentially we got the van, or no, sorry, the car dropped off. Of, my husband has like a little spark and we dropped it off for an oil change and some new tires. And then we went to breakfast. After that, I went to the wellness center to do my first official full workout. And that ended up with my stomach being very, very unhappy. And so I came back and essentially I slept until I had to go get Megan from school and take her to her lesson. She went and did her lesson and just stayed essentially for the lesson period. And then we are home so she can prep for her choir concert tonight. So let's flip here. Yesterday, I got very few of these things done. It's just... It's been one of those days. I think I was starting to get really burned out by yesterday. So the only thing that I really got done on this list, I think, was the starting to set up my planner and the My 100. I did write down that whole thing. Um, but other than that, with the the band concert last night, it just, we got home like... 30 I want to say and I was just completely beat and fell in bed <laughs> so my plan for today was to wrap presents that has not happened um and I don't know how much other stuff is gonna happen today I really need to call in that refill on the meds so I'm gonna transfer that over and maybe I'll do that after this I, for today's video, I uploaded it, but I didn't set it to post this morning. So I'm going to say finish. Um, YouTube video. I can't believe I did that, honestly. But that's kind of how life is going today. So finish YouTube to post. I don't know what that means. Um, I do have, um, I had a Moxie Life order arrive today, so I'm going to put that over here. I don't know why I spelled it. Yeah, yeah that's not how you spell order. <laughs> what the heck? So that means I potentially can finish filming. Fish, yeah. This is how my brain is going today. <laughs> finish filming Moxie haul because I had an order that came um, late last week, I think it was. And I filmed that knowing this one was going to come, and so I just decided I'm going to combine them. And then, what else do I need to do today? <laughs> Not that I have tons of time, because, yeah, it's going to be one of those days. For dinner, I think we are doing what we call fend. It's like, you can either have leftovers or you can make your own meal. <laughs> because we have lots of leftovers in the fridge, but some of my kids with their sensory issues can't deal with leftovers so rather than me making them something they'll do something along the lines of making a sandwich or mac and cheese you know pasta roni chicken nuggets and i'm fine with it like once a week do your own thing <laughs> so all right moxie life um i feel like there's more but i like my brain is, as my daughter would say, not braining. 
So maybe we just call it good with that and say I'll check in tomorrow and hopefully it'll be a better day. All right, guys, it's Friday. <laughs> Thank goodness for Fridays, right? So I did write one thing in here already um, just because when I called in my bed, my bed, when I called in my bed refill yesterday, they gave me a pickup time of today after three. So I just put it in here so that I would remember I need to pick up my meds. If I don't do it today, I can always do it tomorrow kind of thing. But just as a reminder. So today I'm kind of, I decided to take a laid back day. I've kind of had a hard time the last couple days with my stomach. I think it's the working out. So I'm just going to let it rest today because we do have a show rehearsal tonight. So that all being said, I have lunch with a friend and I think that's really all that's going on. So, um, I'm going to try and edit, um, this week's plan with me which probably won't be like this week. This will probably be next week. <laughs> but hey, play with me. Um, I also am about halfway through the Moxie Life um, uh, sorry, brain. I'm about halfway through the Moxie Life YouTube video. It's like two and a half hours. I did an, an hour and a half last night, but I realized that my attention was starting to wander and I was like, okay, it's time for a break. <laughs> so Moxie Life Live, which is a, a free live. So if you're working on goal setting and stuff, I will try and link that down below for you guys. Um, so Moxie Life Live finished and I'm taking notes because notes help me. Um, so I have that. What else am I doing with today? Oh, I need to make sure. All of Megan's costumes. Are in the car. For dress rehearsal. Because... The poor child. <laughs> She's driving me insane. She has not bothered to try on either of her costumes. They've been here a month, but she can't bother to find the time to try them on. So we are working with some natural consequences today. I will get her to the rink. I will make sure she has her costumes and everything there. I'll make sure she has a sandwich for dinner. Dad will be there because he's doing the announcing for the show. So it's not like she's you know, there by herself or anything. She's almost 14. So if her costumes don't fit or have an issue, she's going to have to figure it out. Because <laughs> if I'm there, I'm going to fix it. And like, this isn't the first time that she's done this where she just like waits to the absolute last minute. And then I have to panic and try and figure out how to make her costume work. I'm kind of sick of it. So I don't know if it's the right thing to do, honestly, but I am trying to let go. Therapist said it was okay. <laughs> and let her figure it out. She's almost 14. And I feel like at 14, you can figure out if your pants don't fit quite right, put a safety pin in them for the show, make them work, or, you know, it's nothing huge. She doesn't have to be completely put together, but maybe it'll teach her that not, you know, waiting until the day for dress rehearsal to try on her costume. I mean, she's, she did this with the Halloween show as well and the show before that. And I, I can get her this stuff. And I can make alterations or whatever needs to happen, but I can't do it the day of. 
and she needs to realize that. And I don't know how else to make her realize that this is a thing. So that is the plan. If I can follow through, we will see. But I figure if I'm not there, and like I said, she has Jared there. And she has her coach and, you know, everything. But if I'm not there, then she has to think and figure it out. She can always call me and I'm happy to take her call and walk her through what needs to happen. But I would have much rather been dealing with this a week ago. But she didn't have time to try it on and didn't want to. And forcing a teenager to do anything... <laughs> They don't want to do like I can't physically put the costume on her. So this is where I am. Yeah, love my kids, but they can be so stubborn so, some days. And yeah, so that's where we are. I, I'm going to make sure that she has everything and then I am trusting her to know how to figure it out. And I feel like I'm a bad mom because of that. But we are crossing our fingers that it all works out and that she learns something. Hopefully it's not that something doesn't fit. At least not in the too small because too big we can safety pin. So there is that. Um, and I think that's everything for today. Because um, I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm going to... I plan on spending some time with my youngest who I, because I'm always at Megan's stuff, I never get a chance to just hang out with her, I feel like. So maybe we'll play Uno tonight. That might be a lot of fun because it'll just be us home. So yeah, let's see. So besides that, I do have this blessing sticker I put in here. This was a happy planner sticker. Um, and I plan on just doing a little journaling down here tonight. Um, I didn't get to yesterday's, um, Megan's, uh, concert went really well and her solo went really well. Although she wasn't as happy as she could have been with it. She said she messed up a little bit, but I was like, yeah, you didn't sound bad. You did all right. You didn't sound like you were eating the microphone like some of the other kids. So <laughs> it's all good. And it was her first solo, I mean, right? All right, so that's everything. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it is Saturday. Everything went well last night with dress rehearsal. It's past um, the time for the ice show that went as smoothly as it could. There's always hiccups with any live show, but we are past that. And it's actually getting into evening because I was just completely worn out from the show. So probably not going to have a bunch of to-dos here. Um, I did not do the editing, so I need to edit a video for tomorrow and upload it. So... And honestly, that might be all I really do today. The kids are doing laundry, so they kind of <laughs> are taking over the washing machine. Um, I want to get the dishwasher loaded one more time. But honestly, we're all kind of in recovery from the last two weeks being so busy and we're just kind of bumping around the house. I mean, I just watched um, a Muppet Christmas Carol <laughs> and I think we're going to watch Home Alone after we order Chinese food for dinner <laughs> because, you know. So I think that's all I'm going to put in here. I'll probably add something about today over here and call it good tomorrow. Um, I wanted to do some weekly reflections, but I'm not feeling in the right mindset for that right now. So 
we'll do that and maybe I will try and fill out some of the Moxie Life stuff to get prepared for the new year. We'll see how I'm kind of feeling on all that. I've really been putting it off. <laughs> so I don't know if this will make it into the video or not. So in case it doesn't, that's what Sunday looks like. And then just to kind of show you how the week has turned out here. I mean, I did add in a couple little stickers. These are from Joyfully Planned. And we don't really have anything going on tomorrow that I know of. We just had ice show today and we're gonna hang out with some friends and have Chinese food and <laughs> watch a movie. <laughs> you know, big plans. So anyhow, that's all I have for, I think this video. And maybe I'll edit it for tomorrow. Maybe I won't. Maybe it'll be next week. I'm not really sure. But I did want to, yeah. <laughs> I am enjoying how this all worked out, the back and forth and everything. And I'm looking forward to this being how I plan in the coming year. So until next time, I'll see you guys real soon.